Hi everyone, my name is Phil, and welcome back to another Scrap Tale devlog. There's a lot to talk about, and I have a lot of work to do, so let's get started. This devlog is going to be a lot more casual, more raw, more unfiltered, because I am traveling right now to visit some friends in Cologne, and so I am recording this from their office, so I don't have a lot of time to edit um, and put together footage, so I think I'm just going to have some gameplay running on the background, and I'm going to go over the list of changes that have happened throughout the past two weeks. So <laughs> excuse the low quality, I promise we will get back to our normal um, production levels um, for the next devlog. Um, for these past two weeks, a lot of stuff happened actually. We redid a lot of stuff, we improved a lot of stuff. Once again, the map got a lot of love. We have new water, we have bridges, we have new walls. The walls made such a difference. I love the new walls with the pillars and the high roofs. I love what Bernard did there. It's absolutely amazing. The fences are also a nice addition. Um, and the floor, the floor is also different. And the floor and the walls especially, I think add a lot to the overall mood of the map. And I'm really, really proud how that worked out. I'm kind of sad that we didn't improve those earlier on because I really do think that those made the biggest difference so far. We also made the market. Katrina has been hard at work creating all the, the veggies and, um, and the boxes and everything to place in the market. Unfortunately, we have been running into some performance issues um, with that and so we had to disable them for now, we're gonna try to improve the performance there, use some you know, com mesh combining and some GPU instancing and just putting everything on static, you know, the, the usual um, performance improvements. Um, and we're gonna try to get those back up and running as soon as possible, but I'm really happy with how all of that is turning out. I'm really excited to see how it's gonna turn out next week, for example, as we have some more plans on what to do with the market. Obviously, the map is not finished yet. There's still a lot that we want to do, some particles we haven't even begun on lighting yet or in prop and environmental storytelling so there's still a lot to do there but I'm really happy with how the uh, with the direction that we're going in at the moment we've also added some environmental audio uh, for for the map right now uh, so for example the waterfall has audio right now um, what else there's new um, background sounds going on and I think that also adds a lot to how the level feels. We also redid the fencing menu is completely different before you just press the button and that just said deliver and you would deliver and you wouldn't see the item anymore. Just see, you would just say, oh, you deliver the item, go on with your day. Um, but now you have an actual menu where you can see everything that has been fenced. You can filter them, filter the items by grade. Uh, and it tells you how much money you can earn from those items, how many you have left, etc., etc., etc. The way the fencing menu is going to work um, based on um, a suggestion that we got a while back is that you will fence your items and the items will go with you to your hideout and then you are able to either sell them or display them in your hideout that way you can kind of customize your hideout um, with your past winnings I guess you could say or you could just sell them and earn some quick bucks that way. I think I really like that option. So the fencing menu is going to be like that and then the every coin that you catch in the level is just going to be instant money. Um, we've also reintroduced badges along with some other final menu improvements. I think this is um, as much as we're going to do for the for the alpha. We're nearing alpha right now um, and so we finished up the the final like the level finished menu to incentivize some competition as well we had we added a score you, you can see all of your stats um we're going to we will be we will be going to a convention um next week uh and so we implemented the final score bit to incentivize some healthy competition amongst the the testers there um we have a new structure for sliding uh based once again on some suggestions um so that when you reach the ring tower you can get uh, you can catch the the slide rope and you can get this big overview of the map and you can just kind of have this bird's eye view of everything and i think it looks really nice really nice we added more collectibles there are more coins throughout level now and we kind of changed the positioning of the uh precious loot items um, so that they make more sense based on how how valuable they are 
Um, big change that has been requested a ton of times in the past is that we added waypoints to know where off-screen enemies are. I feel like this is a very important thing, especially in stealth games like this and in action games in general. Uh, and I think that really does help you uh, figure out, okay, where am I being seen and where are the alarmed enemies, um, etc. And I think, yeah, that was a really great addition too. Um, we then... We added some very basic tutorials. We brought back the tutorials from like the very first devlogs just because once again, we're going to a convention next week and we don't want people to be lost. So I just very quickly put together or uh, reused with the tutorials that we had in the past and I just made it um, fit our current build right now. Uh, and yeah, hopefully people will <laughs> understand the game better and be li less lost once they try the demo now. Um, and yeah, after that, we just implemented some and adjusted some minor things. For example, you can now skip dialogue completely. Um, we added electric particles to the swinging obstacle. As before, you couldn't really tell it was an obstacle. Um, we have began working with some new music. My friend Miguel, also known as Kibram, and with a lot of other music projects, um, I asked him for a bit of help um, figuring out the style of music that I wanted, and he just whipped out <laughs> some very nice music off the bat, and I and I love him for that. And you should be hearing that music right now in the background. I'll probably shut up for a little bit now, so you can listen to it better. <laughs> Yeah, other than that, just very some very quick improvements and fixes that we made. I'm not going to go through all of them. The list is big. Uh, I'll probably put the list on the screen right now. You can just kind of pause and go over it if you want. Um, but yeah, so this these past two weeks were very exciting. I'm very, 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 very happy um, with how the, the map turned out. Um, and so we're going to keep improving it. And right now, once again, as I've been saying for the past few devlogs as well we're just focusing on improving what we have right now instead of adding things and so i'm very excited with how things are looking um and i'll probably just leave some gameplay footage running for a little bit right now so that you can have a look at it yourself um, and kind of judge for yourself what the game is looking at right now and let us know what you think um, once again if you want to support the game which helps a lot you can fo you can follow us on patreon which once again reminds me thank you very much dr kepper 82 you are the best thank you so much for your support um it really helps us a lot and if you want to try all of this yourself you can do so by subscribing to our um, master thief patrons here um if you do not want to subscribe but still or if you don't want to subscribe to our patreon but you still want to help the game uh subscribing on youtube liking the video commenting let us know our, your feedback your feedback is very important all of that helps us a lot so thanks so much if you are doing that we really 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 appreciate you for this week's shout out i want to shout out Dev frog he is making this very cozy game about having a bunch of frogs in a farm and i just think it's lovely and they came back after a little bit of a hiatus uh, and i'm really excited for them uh, and so yeah i'm going to leave the link in the description as usual please check them out their blogs are very relaxing and yeah please go have a look they deserve it i think that's all i have to talk about today as i said i'm sorry for the low quality on this devlog in two weeks uh, we will get back up to speed and i can show you everything a bit more calmly and in a bit of a more interesting way um, but yeah i'm gonna go now i'm gonna edit this video and i'm gonna explore cologne with my friends and yeah so let me know what you thought of everything i'm really looking forward to answering all of your comments as usual and yeah have a good weekend and i will see you in two weeks